Yo, what's up? Yo, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do only logos challenge. Yes, I'm gonna just put some random logos in the screen. Just uh, examples. No special message behind it or anything. No. Oh yeah, I really like this logo. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Now edit in something funny, which makes me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> First up, I to plus watch computer aquarium dice computer. Let's do Windows. So did you know? Did you see the news? What recently? News? Microsoft took over Apple as the biggest company again. Really? That's a win, boys. That's a win. How's that possible? Well, you tell me. What do you think? Is Apple falling off? <laughs> no, obviously not. Their latest products have all just been okay. Yeah, but I can say that way more about Microsoft. Yeah, okay, no Microsoft one likes Windows 10. No one likes Windows Phone. Yeah, I think PlayStation is more popular than Xbox. <laughs> and. Like their phones, they have Nokia. Who still buys Nokias? No one. Yeah. Yeah, it's just been one bad uh, investment after another. Well, maybe Minecraft is making them some money. <laughs> Seriously, what good things has Microsoft put out that have hit mainstream popularity? I know they make like a Surface laptop and stuff, but it's not really popular. It's not on par with a MacBook or Even whatever. Even me, I'm not an Apple fanboy, but I can say that the iPad is the best tablet on the market right now. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Nothing beats the iPad. Definitely not the Microsoft Surface. <laughs> Maybe the uh, Galaxy Tab. Ooh. I don't know. I don't use tablets. Tablets are good for people who sit in a living room with their family. Yeah. Not people who are stuck in their room all day on the computer. <laughs> So that's the logo, and now, well, I guess we build a computer around it then. Okay. I read that Mark Zuckerberg lost 15 billion dollars this year. Oh Ooh. my god. Oh, damn. But and then you read that his net worth is 60 billion. Oh, oh. damn. Oh, he has plenty left. <laughs> <laughs> Yet he drives a Prius. There's nothing wrong with the Prius. Okay. It's a good car, reliable, pretty good emissions. Yeah, cause it's a it's, hybrid, right? Yeah, it's a hybrid, yeah. Good job, Mark. He cares about the environment, but not your privacy. Ha <laughs> ha! Which is ironic because he actually bought the house next to his own house and he leaves it empty because he didn't want people to be able to look inside his house. Crazy. Yeah. He specifically bought his next door house just so no one <coughs> just so nobody else could buy it. That's uh, pretty this whole privacy thing is overblown though, because people are like, Look at them, they're taking our privacy! <laughs> what? <laughs> Facebook can see my posts, they can see my location. And then the same people, you go to their profile and you see them posting every hour like, Haha, eating pizza at Domino's. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just bought this thing. Uh, look at my Instagram, I'm half naked in my, all my photos. <laughs> Let's put some uh, icons on the desktop, because why not? Cool! Cool, looks pretty good. Uh, it is, in fact, a logo. Yes. The Windows logo. All right, so, first one. What does it say? Book, book read. Book read. <laughs> uh, what is this? It's a laptop, the I guess. The mouse is, like, bigger than the laptop. Crazy. Cool. Oh, look, it's wow. ha it has an animated screen. You see that? Yeah, it's flickering. <laughs> flickering. That, that is, is... Yeah. Yeah, they're playing Minecraft, it seems. Nice uh, thing under the table. Primitive, huh? So big. Yeah. But then again, we have one. This build is pretty nice. Cool. Meh. Meh. Oh, oh, nice table. Big table. Good. That's what I like. I like keeping my elbows on the table instead of uh, off the table. That's ours. Oh, baby. The Windows logo. So beautiful. Oh, someone said it. They said legend. I agree. Poop, it's not Apple. Oh, it's a curved oh. monitor. Those are in style nowadays. Yes. I personally don't really see the point. One of those ultra-wide things, huh? What is this? A transparent screen? Yeah, Samsung is working on one. <laughs> they already demoed the transparent screens. Hey! hey! We win! Cool. Yippee. Do -do -do -do. Second round. Only logo, baby. Baby. Alien trampoline book Viking package. Package? Sure. So how often do you use Amazon? I've only used it once. Actually, multiple times. But... But they don't even have it here. Yeah. I buy it from like the German version. 
Because our version, the one in the Netherlands, only sells books, and I don't read books. Screw books. I hate books. <laughs> Last time you read a book, you, you tore it apart. That's Not true. Not even kidding. That is true. <laughs> I'll tell the story about it. First semester of university. That's college for you Americans. Yeah, just kidding. It's the same. I got so frustrated at the subject, I just tore the book up. <laughs> I was ready to light it on fire, but then I remembered you cannot do that. Yeah, that's illegal. I heard that it is a very common problem in the U.S. that packages get stolen from the front yeah. porch. Why? What? Why? I find that really weird, because why would you leave the package on the front porch, you know? Yeah, first of all, why put it on the front porch? Either throw it in the yard, or maybe just give it to your neighbor. That's what they do in this country. If you're not at home, they either come back, or they just give it to your neighbor. Yeah, it depends on the package. If it's like something inappropriate or something, you can say that it cannot be delivered to the neighbors, and then they come back at a later date. Then if you're still not there, they'll leave like a like a slip, like a paper slip that all uh, with a code and stuff, and then you can bring it to the local post office, and they'll have it for you. Which is just way smarter than just leaving it on the front door. This is uh, incredibly stupid because somebody walks by, they see the package, they just pick it up. Yep, stupid. Yeah. Now, of course, you cannot blame the American citizens for this. You gotta blame the delivery company. Well, you can also blame Americans. For what? That it even gets stolen. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I've left stuff out at the front door and no one touched it. Um, just yesterday, one of your neighbors got robbed. Not robbed. <laughs> <laughs> they accidentally left their garage door open for like half an hour. True. When they come back, all the laptops and stuff, they were all stolen. True. Yeah, so... True. This will be a new viral hit. Package thief revenge videos. Oh. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be huge. The new prank channel? Most of them are gonna be fake. Definitely. But there was a nice one, like uh, a glitter bomb. This guy made a glitter bomb <laughs> package. Yeah. With camera inside, so you could film the reactions. Yep. They also added a fart spray. <laughs> when you open it up, it would start... There's a spray called the fart spray. Like one... Just one pop can clear an entire room, apparently. It just smells like literal ass. You mean like this room? <laughs> yeah, because you're in it. We live in an age where you don't even have to go outside anymore. Correct. You can just order stuff online and it shows up at your door. It's great. I love it. I do all my shopping online, except for groceries. Yeah, groceries aren't there yet. They can deliver them to your house, but it costs money, so I don't do it. I do my clothes shopping online. Wow. I buy instruments online, technology, yeah, all that stuff. It's great. Then you think, what, with clothes, don't you want to try them on first? Well, you order them, and then you just return them if they're not good. <laughs> what? You're laughing, but that's part of the website. That's part of how it works. I know, I know. They want you to try it on and then send it back. Yes, that's right. It's pretty cool. For bigger purchases, like... Uh, a phone or something, you want to try it out first, so you just go to the nearby Best Buy or whatever, you try out the phone, then you go back home and order it. Yeah, It's way buddy. cheaper. <laughs> get same day shipping too now if you want. <laughs> it's crazy. Soon enough we'll get drones that deliver it in like 30 minutes, that's amazing. Anyways, this is our build, it's Amazon. Cool. Not sponsored. Uh, we have a fruit basket. Cool. Cool. Next up we have a guy holding a bag of vegetables. Cool. cool. That's a Christmas tree. With gifts. Ah. That is what a the... floating... Uh, is it Fortnite or something? Oh, like a care package thing? I don't know. Uh, this is a pixel art of a letter. Good. Meh. Who's that? It says... The delivery guy. Package. It says package. Sure. Cool. We have a potion, a can of... What is it? Mandu. Mandu. Meh. That it's... is a box with a mailbox. Yes. Doesn't fit, so they leave it at the door and then it gets stolen. Boom. <laughs> That's, That's ours. ours. Oh my god, oh, legendary. Baby, it's big. Oh my it's god. It's so big, baby. It's so beautiful. Whew. That's amazing, man. Huge. So skillful. Oh wow, this one looks good too. Oh, you can go inside. Look at that. What's inside? There are chests. Oh wow. Epic. Just kidding. <laughs> Hey! hey! We win! Nice! Last one, baby! Only logos! Baby. Package. Hamburger. Motorbike. Garden. Soldier. I am tempted towards hamburger. Someone else ate it. 
We're not gonna build a hamburger. We're just gonna build a McDonald's. Yeah, logo. it's probably not gonna win because it's not a burger. But who cares? I don't care. I love McDonald's. Love it. <laughs> I'm loving it. Ba da ba ba ba. I like the burgers. I like the fries. I like the drinks. I like the playground. <laughs> the playground. Just kidding. I don't go in there anymore. I haven't been to McDonald's for a long time. What are you doing? Being unfaithful. Have you been going to Burger King recently? <laughs> No, screw Burger King. I would never go to Burger King. Screw him. My last experience was a couple of years back, and it was bad. Bad. It was a horrible experience. What was so horrible about it? Well, I ordered a chicken tenderloin, uh, thinking, <laughs> thinking it would be tender, but it wasn't tender at all. <laughs> tenderloin. Yeah, I didn't even know what tenderloin meant. I just thought <laughs> oh, it tender. must be tender, right? And the picture, in the picture, it looked pretty damn tasty. Yeah? Uh, tenderloin. It must be tender. And uh, nope. Yeah, I actually thought the chicken would have been like fried, you know? Like it wasn't chicken. tender at all. No, it wasn't tender. It was just a piece of chicken and oh my god, I couldn't even bite it. It was so hard. It was rubbery. Not just rubbery, like literally hard too. That reminds me of a funny joke. Okay. But it's a bit racist and I'm not sure if we can do it in 2018. Uh oh. Japanese guy walks into a restaurant. <laughs> oh yeah, the chicken is rubbery. We'll send it back. Sorry, sir. Yeah, but what he meant to say was it was lovely. Yeah, because they mess up the R's and the L's. Yep. Yeah, very funny. Yeah, very mm -hmm. funny. I wouldn't call it racist. I mean, it's just true, isn't it? Whoa! Whoa. But it, it's not finished yet. What's going on? It doesn't fit. Well, they messed up somewhere. Come on, just finish it. Just finish it. I got it. 30 seconds! About as much time yeah, it takes to prepare a McDonald's hamburger. If you microwave it, yeah. Done? Are we done here? No, look at the left side! Why is it different? No, someone messed it up and it wasn't me. Okay, whatever. Now Fix it. Whatever. Okay. It's good enough. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. Oh my ah. god. Woo. That is nice. Makes you hungry, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, we're first. I'm first. That's good. As proven oh, yeah, in the last the, video, the being first is a good legendary thing. color right here. You gotta use it. Come on, guys. That's the theme. <laughs> <laughs> right, the theme is hamburger. Oh, this is not the theme. Boop. Mmm, what a delicious burger. We got a nice burger. With sesame seeds. Oh. Ooh. Well. Wow. Floating. Floating. <laughs> That's a very thin tomato. Good. I don't like tomatoes on my burger. Another McDonald's menu. Meal. That's good. Epic. Not McDonald's poop. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh ha! What's this? Poopy. Poop. That is hella lame. What is this thing? I don't know. Meh. Ooh, what? Vegan? How do you know it's vegan? <laughs> because it's dirt. Ah, good. Three of them. Ooh, and, an, and a fork? Cool. Who eats a burger with a fork? High-end restaurants. Cool. Sloppy Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Joe. <laughs> Amazing. Poop! You get poop! Try to remain calm! Oh wow. Oh wow, it's a guy. He's suffering from male pattern baldness. 11th place! Yay. As expected, we never thought we would win, so it's fine. Yep. Uh huh. We don't care. We were doing this one for fun. Endorsing our favorite restaurant. Alright, that's it for another episode. Thank you for watching, baby. <laughs>